Greetings. This is a volcano and earthquake watch for May 6 through to May 9. It has been fairly quiet in terms of seismic activities, only producing one significant earthquake, and that was recorded yesterday, a 6.1 off the east coast of Honshu, Japan. I'm expecting with back-to-back -back geomagnetic storms recorded at the beginning of the month, there is a strong likelihood of a 7 plus earthquake during this watch. Here is a latest solar wind telemetry from ACE. We get to see solar winds were at 700 km a second immediately after geomagnetic disturbance recorded back on May the 2nd. Since then we've seen a fairly slow decline in solar winds and current levels at 410 km a second. There are currently six number sunspots on the solar disk at the moment that are producing fairly minimal activities, mainly because they're all stable and mature. And this is reflected on the GOES X-ray flux monitor. As we can see, fairly quiet conditions. We do have a little bulge here back on May the 4th, which is indicative of a coronal mass ejection. But apart from that, the X-ray activities are extremely quiet. Here is the latest information from the Space Weather Prediction Centre. They're advising of quiet to unsettled conditions through the next three days. Now having a quick look at Solon.info, we get to see a significant coronal hole formation that is extending upward from the polar region. I do expect that there is a strong likelihood of a significant earthquake embedded within this coronal hole. We're now looking at the SDO composite, and this is showing the southern hemisphere. And what we get to see is this coronal hole feature extending upwards from the polar region. And there are a few regions here that I will be monitoring and plotting during this watch. Now using the Hanode XRT with Solar Monitor, I'm going to be focusing on the region in the Southern Hemisphere a little bit more closely. There are two regions that I will be mapping. The first region sits at 30 to 34 degrees south latitude, and the second region sits 43 to 48 degrees south latitude. The main area of concern for this watch will be the region in and around Easter Islands. I do feel that there is a strong likelihood of a sea-based earthquake of significance and perhaps ranging up towards 7 in magnitude and the most likely region I feel would be in and around the Easter Islands. There is a fairly good symmetry with the Comatic Islands region and this will be my second area of concern during this watch. There's also a volcano that needs to be closely monitored in this region and that's on the Rail Islands. And my final area of concern will be offshore Chile and the regions of Valparaiso, Coquimbo and Atacama do fit in the latitude regions that I am concerned with during this watch. There are some outgoing long wave radiation anomalies and also ionospheric anomalies that do support a potential large earthquake in the southern hemisphere during this watch. And these are in the regions that I have targeted and they are extending upwards slightly towards Vanuatu and Loyalty Islands, down towards the Comatic Islands, above the New Zealand region. And also on the opposite end of the scale we do have a significant region in and around Easter Islands that may be of interest. Now using Solar Monitor's 193 angstrom, we get to see this coronal hole feature splitting into two sections. I am now concerned that there may be more than one significant earthquake during this watch, and I will be targeting this second region now. I am targeting another region in the southern hemisphere, and that sits at 43 to 47 degrees south latitude, and the most likely region or best fit region does seem to be New Zealand. I do feel that there is a potential of a 5.5 to 6.0 earthquake for this region towards the end of the watch. And my final area of concern will be the region south of Australia extending towards Tasmania. Now Tasmania doesn't usually receive significant earthquakes, however a significant anomaly was recorded on the PC3 pulsation index registering a 9 and I just thought that it may be worth noting that there could be a potential event in and around these regions. It is worth noting that we do have a celestial alignment that may be of significance during this watch and it does begin on May the 7th when Mercury conjoins Venus. Now the Mercury and Venus are quite significant in terms of alignments as they are in between the Earth-Sun translation so we do need to closely monitor these alignments. Okay and that's my earthquake watch for today, May 6, 2011. Annotations will be added as events occur and also at the end of the video. Thanks for watching.